Thousands gather after Slovakia LGBT attack outside Bratislava Bar. Thousands of people gathered at a vigil in Slovakia on Friday to commemorate two people killed outside a gay bar. The men were shot dead in the capital, Bratislava, this week in the suspected hate crime. Organizers estimated that 20,000 people took part in the vigil, mourning the men's deaths and demanding action on LGBTQ plus rights. Slovak President Zuzana Kaputova, who has raised the rainbow flag over her office, spoke at the event. She said, quote, I'm sorry that our society was not able to protect your loved ones. You belong here. You are valuable for our society, end quote. Prime Minister Eduard Heger was also at the vigil, organized by the Inakost Otherness Institute, an LGBTQ plus advocacy group. Slovakia's National Crime Agency has classified the shootings as premeditated murder, motivated by hatred of sexual minority. It has sparked calls for more protection of LGBTQ plus people in Slovakia, a relatively conservative EU country where same-sex marriage is not legal. The BBC's Rob Cameron in the neighboring Czech Republic said some Slovaks were angry at what they saw as hypocrisy from politicians. European Parliament Vice President Michal Simeka, who was also at, the, at Friday's event, said he wanted the European legislature to discuss the murders at a section, session next week. And here we are, once again, reporting on more senseless anti-LGBTQ violence coming out of Eastern Europe. It, I mean, that seems, I mean, if it's not, it's not happening, it's here, it's happening there. So we have to wonder how much of this, again, my question is, this is a very religious part of the country, part of the world, and is this motivated by the Roman Catholic Church, which has high numbers in Slovakia, or the Eastern Orthodox Church? I mean, how much of this is motivated by religious hatred? I think that's the center of it all, right? I think that that's what we see. I, I'm really interested in the comments in, in this story, right? You're hearing the deep sympathy from the top leadership, right. but you're also hearing from the activists saying that there's some hypocrisy in the sympathy, that there's some hypocrisy in what is happening because not enough is being done from a policy and leadership perspective to be able to be supportive of, of the country. And oftentimes I think what you see is you know, it's it's almost like a chicken or the egg story. Is that like, mm -hmm. what has to happen exactly first mm -hmm. in order for there to be the momentum? And so um, I'm gonna be, you know, naive to say that, that those sentiments of sympathy are very heartfelt mm -hmm. um, and that maybe there's just a different amount of other support that needs to happen in order for their, their sentiment to really have an influence on the country's policy. It takes more than raising a rainbow flag right. over an office. Right. You know, the, uh, the really um, as sad uh, as this story is, uh, having shootings at a, a gay bar in front of a gay bar that are hate motivated is a terrible thing. Pulse was a terrible thing, obviously. Uh, the good news in this story is the European Union still continues to speak in an unfractured way. And as long as, and there's no reason to believe that there's going to be any deviation from it. The European Union's leadership, the parliament, the courts have almost been completely unanimous in that if you're going to participate in the European Union, you are going to accept the ideology and, and the embracement of, uh, of a standard of rights and LGBT rights are directly a part of that standard. Mm -hmm. So it means um, uh, Poland, Hungary, uh, Slovenia, uh, you cannot withdraw and say, we're going Italy. to cherry pick Italy. Italy. Oh, Italy's that's going that's to be in trouble. Uh, you cannot cherry pick uh, which rights you mm. accept or enforce. Mm. And uh, the European Union and the courts are punishing them more and more and more. There's a speeding wow. train on this horizon that says, okay, we're going to be willing to move this to a showdown. And if we move it to a showdown, you're going to lose mm -hmm. because you will not be able to stand up to the union. Mm -hmm. That's incredibly important for us because in our most recent history, although we did it very badly, uh, the Civil War ended and made the Southern Collective Confederate States accept the union that's what the war brought 
the European Union is in a little civil war with Hungary, Slovenia, Poland, yeah. uh, in a similar way that you will accept rights mm -hmm. and they're going to win. They are the North, they are the Union, mm -hmm. they are going to win and they're going to do it in power, policy and money. Mm -hmm. And Hungary and Slovenia and Poland will not be able to stand up to it. Mm -hmm. That is good news for LGBT. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.